This is module two, modeling. This is really the fun part of Vectorworks, the ability to build 3D models and then create drawings from them. So in module two, our learning objectives are to learn how to create simple 3D models, learn how to control working planes, learn how to control 3D viewing, learn how to create drawings from a 3D model and learn how to place and edit a simple light. Lesson 2.1, creating a simple 3D model. This is lesson 2.1. Our learning objectives for lesson 2.1 are to learn how to create a simple 3D model, learn the rules for simple 3D modeling, learn how to edit extrusions and learn how to control extrusion height and elevation. Let's get into Vectorworks. For this movie, I've started with a blank file. Let's just go through some of our settings. File on the menu bar, page setup. I want this to be an A3 piece of paper, so I'm going to choose A3 from my printer setup. I'm also going to make it landscape. And then OK. I just need to check my units as well. File, document settings, and units. So here I'm going to be using millimeters, or I could choose feet and inches. We haven't used feet and inches for a little while, so let's choose feet and inches. And I'm also going to click up here, fit to page area, so I can see my entire page. One last thing, right click, active layer scale. I want to be working at one to one scale. It's a small thing I'm making, so let's make it one to one scale. There's a couple of things that happen when we change Vectorworks between a plan view and a 3D view. The settings are up here, so I'm just going to go through those as well. So click on this little arrow here. I want to go to my Vectorworks preferences. I'm going to change my 3D to OpenGL and normal perspective. So what this means is when I change from a top plan view to a 3D view, I'll automatically change to OpenGL. So it'll actually render for me, which is really cool. Um, and then I'm going to change my perspective from orthogonal to a normal perspective. This will really help. Let me just show you. When I change the 3D view, I'm just going to go up here and choose right isometric. It changes and it actually renders. So let's start by going to a top plan view. And we're going to create a rectangle. So double click on the rectangle tool. This object is six inches. So let's make it six inches by six inches. Now you notice I'm still working in millimeters, so I'm going to go back and just make sure I've got that changed. Let's go back, File, Document Settings, let's choose Units. I thought I had chosen feet and inches. That's better, let's OK that. So now you can see I'm using inches. So let's double click on a rectangle tool. We'll make the six inches by six inches. Now what I'd like to do is to turn off the position at next click and use the center as my origin. We'll make that zero and zero. So my rectangle should arrive right in the middle of my page. There it is there. Let's change to a 3D view. Let's go to a right isometric view. There it is. And now I'm going to extrude that. So model on the menu bar, extrude, and this is going to be 28 inches or about 600 millimeters. Let's just fit to objects. There's a button here for fit to objects. Now we can see the entire object. Now I'd like to make another rectangle. So double click on my rectangle tool. This time it's four inches by four inches or 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So four by four. Also at zero, zero. Click OK. Now the object is actually hiding at the bottom. So if you remember the B key, there it is there. You can see it hiding at the bottom. We're going to go back to model on the menu bar, extrude. This time it's 50 millimeters or two inches. Now it's still sitting on the ground down here. Come across here. You can see my bottom Z is zero. This is controlling the elevation of my extrusion, the start of my extrusion. If we make that 28 inches, you'll see that my extrusion is now sitting on top of the previous object. Really handy. Now we can pan our view by holding the space bar down or the middle mouse wheel button and just drag your view down and that will allow you to just pan your view a little bit. Double click on the rectangle tool again, another six inch by six inch object, 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters, also at zero, zero. Now I don't want to back this up, so I'm going to say no. 
so there it is it's down the bottom I can see it I don't know if you can see it so I'll just go B key you can see it right down the bottom and let's extrude that so model on the menu bar and extrude and we'll make that four inches 100 millimeters there it is down the bottom so down here we need to lift this up by 28 inches plus two inches now hopefully you can do the mental arithmetic but I just want to show you we can use the add in Vectorworks to do that if we scroll back on our mouse wheel button there's our entire object so that's a really quick way to get our object to work for us if I hold the control key down on the middle mouse wheel button I can uh, fly around my view it's a really handy way to fly around we'll come back to that so that's our simple 3d object I've set up my preferences so that whenever I change my view it automatically renders my view I'd like to show you my rendering options they just up here where the teapot is let's look at my OpenGL options and I've got my rendering set to low quality if I choose very high quality 3d complex objects or curvy shapes will actually look much better we can use shadows and put them on the ground we haven't got a light so this isn't going to do very much at all but don't use on ground only if you want the shadows to project onto other objects I usually use very high quality for my shadows as well click OK let me just go back and I'll turn some of those options off and we'll see what they look like so let's turn off draw edges and you can see I find it hard to see what's going on I, I find the edges make it a lot easier to see the model anti-aliasing smooths things out smooths out the jaggedy edges you can just see it just smooths those out and the draw edges so just choose the options that you like I find those are my favorites this is the end of lesson 2.1 in this lesson we learned how to create a simple 3d model we learned the rules for simple 3d modeling we learned how to edit extrusions, and we learned how to control extrusion height and elevation.